In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate the hydrostatic force acting on an object submerged in the water. So for example, here we have an object or a vertical plate that is submerged in the water. It takes a form as a triangle. And we know that the height is 5 feet, the width is 10 feet, and it's submerged 2 feet into the water. The first thing I'm going to do is put the x and the y axis onto this triangle. So as you can see, I put the x axis on the base of the triangle and the positive direction is to the right. For the y axis, I put it on the side and the positive direction is upwards. Also, because the width is 10 feet, this point is 0 at the center and then this point is going to be 10. And since the height is 5, we know that this is going to be 5 here. To calculate the hydrostatic force, we have to calculate the force of this stripe acting on the triangle and then we have to calculate the force of this stripe acting on a triangle and then this one and then this one and you get the idea we're going to calculate until we reach the very top and then we're going to add all of those forces together which gives us the hydrostatic force. So I'm going to draw this as our stripe. It's going to represent the stripe that we're currently at and the height from the center to this stripe, we're going to call it y. So what is this length? What is the length of this line? Well, we don't know what it is, so we're just going to call it x. And here is the formula to calculate the hydrostatic force as I've shown you in the previous video. And since the problem is in feet, the density will be 62.5 and the answer or the force will be in pounds. So what is a and b well a will be the base of the triangle which is here at zero and b is the top so a is zero and b is five how about the density well the density will be 62.5 because the problem is in feet what is the length well it's very easy so the length is the length of our stripe like that and as you can see the length is equal to x but our formula wants everything to be in terms of y. So let me show you how to convert the x into a y. From this diagram, we know that this point is 0, 0,5, right? It's 0, 0,5. So we write it out. We have 0, 0,5, and this point is 10, 0. Let's calculate the slope. We have 5 minus 0 over 0 minus 10. That gives us 5 over negative 10, which is equal to negative 1 over 2. Using the slope formula, we have y is equal to negative 1 over 2x plus b. And we're going to substitute in one or these two points. So let's substitute in this one. y is 5, x is 0, so negative 1 over 2 times 0 plus b. And therefore, we have b is equal to 5. And the equation is y is equal to negative 1 over 2x plus 5. Let's solve for x. We have y minus 5 is equal to negative 1 over 2x. We multiply both sides by negative 1. We get negative y plus 5 is equal to 1 over 2x. Multiply both sides by 2. We get negative 2y plus 10 is equal to x. And so L or the length is just 10 minus 2y. We are almost done. How about the depth? Well, the depth is the distance from our stripe to the surface level of the water. So this distance here. We know that, let's use y, we know that this distance from here to here is going to be 7. It's going to be 7 because we have 5 plus 2 that's going to give us 7. So if we take 7 and we subtract this distance, which is y, then we get the orange stripe, which is 7 minus y. This integral is very easy to solve, so let me save time and give you the answer. So after you do it, you should get 8,333.33. And what is the unit? Well, the problem is in feet, so the force or the, the unit will be in pounds. And that is the answer to this question. In the next video, I will show you how to calculate the hydrostatic force when the shape is a trapezoid like this.